Hi, I am Audumbar Patkar. This is lecture 5 of the module Water. In last lecture, we solved some numericals on EDTA method. Now, in this lecture, we are going to solve another type of numericals on SEM EDTA method. Here is one example. In this example, concentration of EDTA is given and also EDTA consumed for 50 ml of water sample which will be useful to calculate total hardness. In next sentence, EDTA required for boiled and filtered water sample is given which can be used to calculate permanent hardness. Let's simplify first this concentration of EDTA. N by 20, that means 1 by 20 normal. That is nothing but 0 0.05 normal. So here we got concentration or normality of EDTA solution. Now by using this data from first line let's calculate total hardness 50 ml of sample of water required 7.2 ml of 0 0.05 normal EDTA solution that is given and we know that 1 ml of 1 normal EDTA solution corresponds to equivalent weight of calcium carbonate that is 50 milligrams of calcium carbonate that is because we calculate hardness with respect to calcium carbonate salt so calculate for 7.2 ml of 0 0.05 normal EDTA solution that is equal to equivalent weight of calcium carbonate 50 into volume of EDTA solution used that is 7.2 into normality of EDTA 0 0.05 normal is equal to 18 milligrams of calcium carbonate equivalent hardness that is for 50 ml of water sample but we want our answer in ppm that is milligrams per liter so calculate for 1 liter that is for 1000 ml of water sample is equal to 18 into 1000 divided by quantity of water use that is 50 ml is equal to 360 ppm here we got total hardness of water sample. After boiling and filtration, the same volume, that means 50 ml of water sample, required 4 ml of EDTA solution. This data will give us permanent hardness. Let's calculate. this is given and we know now that 1 ml of 1 normal EDTA solution corresponds to 50 milligrams of calcium carbonate therefore calculate for 4 ml of 0 0.05 normal EDTA solution is equal to 50 into 4 into 0 0.05 that will give you 10 milligrams of calcium carbonate equivalent hardness this is for 50 ml of water sample so calculate for 1000 ml of water sample to get answer in ppm that is 10 into 1000 divided by 50 is equal to 200 ppm that is permanent hardness
Now we can calculate temporary hardness that is difference between total hardness and permanent hardness that is 360 minus 200 is equal to 160 ppm. So here we got temporary hardness as well. So using these four easy steps you can calculate temporary permanent and total hardness of given water sample. Here is one more example for practice. Follow the steps and get the answer. Thank you so much and see you next time.